Now, if I'm going to take on the role of Jake and Cameron's father, I guess it's my responsibility to keep them safe. That means there's no room for you. So you need to keep your distance. You don't have to tell me how I need to be. You know, you got to be presenting yourself as a man of honor. So I want you to stand there, look me in the eye, and tell me you're going to stay away from Jake. For good. Why do you think I never claimed Jake as my own? It was for his protection. Then you shouldn't have any problem telling me what I need to hear. All I want is what's best for my son. That's why I'm willing to walk away. But if anything changes, if you go back on drugs, you start acting reckless again, I will take Jake right out of your arms. Are we clear on that? I'll stay away. Mr. Morgan, do you have a minute? <clears throat> Detective Spencer, I didn't realize you were working the, uh, the Emily Quarterman case. No, I'm not here on police business. Oh, huh. well, stay or go, it's up to you, but I need to question Mr. Morgan about his sister's murder. We have some new information that suggests you were wrong about how it occurred. You deliberately lied. PCPD received an untraceable text message piggybacked over the mayor's cell phone. He said Anthony didn't do it. Now, except for Nicholas Cassadine, whose memory is inconclusive, you were the first one to enter the ballroom after Emily's death. Now, my question, should you choose to answer it? Do you have any reason to believe anyone other than Anthony Sakara killed your sister? I'm impressed. I remember it. I walked through your security like it didn't exist. <sighs> Sonny said you two had an unsuccessful meeting. Now, Sonny came into my house and offered to buy me off. I'm telling you like I told him, I'm running my father's business now. I'm not taking orders from Sonny or anybody else. But you already knew that. That's so what this is about, huh? You're gonna kill me? If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. It's debatable, but I'll let it go. You know, when, when your father was terrorizing everybody on Spoon Island, you actually stepped up and you did the right thing. I respect that. Yeah, so why are you here? Because it, it would be a waste for you to die over a miscommunication, or worse, if you let Trevor Lansing make you his puppet. I know what Trevor's about. He's not going to risk everything he's accomplished legitimately to run this car organization. He needs me as a buffer. He thinks he can control me, but he's about to find out he can't. So this is it right here. This is what you really want. You want to run your father's organization? It's not a question. The choice was made for me the day I was born. My father might be out of commission, paralyzed in some hospital room. But I'll never escape what I was born into. Either I accept my fate or I have no fate. So it boils down to two options. I can be in charge, or I can be what you said. Trevor's puppet. And that'll never happen. It's your choice. Just keep something in mind. Trevor is always going to be looking for leverage. Just be careful who you bring into your life. I'll handle Trevor. My father may have dumped his life on me, but I'm up for the challenge. So just know, if you come to kill me, I'll be waiting to kill you first.